Hi everyone, and this is the second part of our math test. I'm going to show you the, the code. And so basically what I added was I added an option, options page. And I'll be explaining that in a moment. I'm just going to show you right now in the simulator. So once it loads, we will go on to showing you. So I add an options button where you can go here and obviously add, keep on adding. Let's say we're gonna keep the time to 30. Score per problem. I'm just gonna test it out to make sure that it actually works. So let's say we do 27 times 48. 1296, which is correct, and it says you win, and it says play again. You can do the same thing. 50. And I did discover a bug right there while it's counting down. So basically, if we're going to go back here and see I'm gonna go back to options view controller and I'm actually going to say to user defaults dot standard dot set and we're gonna set double or we're gonna set an integer such as time for key key is t total time even though we already get it on the first time the second time it's gonna continue off the off the previous so if we say time life equals ns user defaults dot standard dot int integer and the Go back here to check total time. So now if we test it, nope. Go stop that. Let's just stop that and then for total time, we're gonna say time left. So let's see if that works. Options. Let's say you get 10 seconds. That's going to be kind of hard. Save. 48 minus 24 is 24. You win. Of course, time's up. Three or four times one, two, eight, five, nine, two, one, two, eight, five, nine, two. <laughs> okay, let's see. I thought we said it. Oh, gotta change that too. So then we are going to. Then we are going to fix that bug. If we can see right here, uh, we're gonna say we're also gonna say time left equals user defaults dot standard dot int for key total time so that means that time left and we're gonna say time late so let's run that so that works
auctions. This time I'm gonna up it to 20. Uh, score for problem, five. Let's say it's five. Save, we press start. And then 12 times 30 is 360. You win. Let's try this out again. There we go. So then 42 plus 45 is 87. And again, 38. Okay. I'm going to explain the code now. So basically what I added is an options button and the start button. So start is basically view to load. I just moved all the view to load stuff to set up the view, which is to have the start, whoops, <laughs> have everything be everything that needs to be hidden be hidden, and then set all the variables. And then start, I just copy pasted the original view to load code into here. So then, and then, for submit, didn't really change anything except for the score to win. And no, not really anything left there. And then score math is less than or equal to score to win. That means if we press next problem, and then we it says that the is we know we know that the score the score is actually greater than the score greater or equal than to the score that you need to win, then it runs via load so that we start the game over again. And then. We also change the title we see, and then question dot is hidden equals fault, and then it and then if the it's not reached the desired, then it runs this patch of code. Time switch is the same thing, and then we added an entirely new view controller with three steppers right here with the out actions, and they will change the value, and then we we have a segue, we have a segue to set the other places like destination that time left score to win and points per problem and then here we had that bug with the time fixed it right here with user defaults used to be ns and we here we see that stepper val equals stepper that value that's just basically saying we're creating a variable so that's stepper dot value and then we have we have our variables time and then we set them and then we're going to eventually need them down here when we when we set the variables of the other view controller. And then save options, which is basically the button that triggers the segue. So that's the bottom at the that's the button at the bottom called save. And you can only you can only do options once you win. So let's say we ran again. And then we set the options to one point per problem, and then you set it to 10 points to win. You're not going to be able to change this. So, score per problem. Score to win is 10. Start 30 minus 48 is negative uh, 18. And then 14 times 28 is 196 times 2, which is 382. 392. And then 39 minus 25 is 14. 18 minus 31 is negative. 31 minus 18 is, uh, oh, it's 13, so negative 13. 40 times 43, that's 43 times 4, which is 172, 1720. Let's see what, when we'll get there. I'm just too lazy to do that. 748. And then 8 times 35. 280. Three more points away. That we can do in our heads. So 70 plus 12 is 82. 20 times 4 is 80. Easy enough. One more. 8 times plus 37. 45. You win. And you see that we only, we only get the options once you win the game. 
So anyway, guys, that concludes the part two of our video. Um, if you have any ideas for me, I'm probably going to make a part three for this. But if you have any suggestions for the part three, please leave it in the comments below. And yes, I will post the source code up. I forgot that for part one because I forgot to save the zip file after. So, bye!